eggs. We're going to talk a little bit about eggs. We get, God, we get close to 30 eggs a day now, and they come in all shapes and sizes. And most of them are just absolutely delicious because our birds free range and they are pasture raised and they get mostly organic feed and then uh, we sprout for them. We sprout sunflowers and right now I'm actually trying to do oats as well. So, but anyways, I've been <clears throat> with the eggs, it's, it's kind of funny because <clears throat> all the different kinds of eggs you get. This little guy right here, this one is a starter egg. It's like the first egg, uh, either a duck or a chicken will lay. Well, this is most likely a duck egg. It'll lay that, and then the one before that will be like a little, almost like a bag, like a little, you know, it, it doesn't have a shell, it doesn't have a hard shell. It's just a little egg like that. And then it's just a non impressive egg. And this green looking egg with the scratches on the shell, um, I think that's for my Muscovy duck, but I'm not 100%. And then you got these you know, almost perfect looking little brown eggs. You've got the blue egg that comes out. Uh, the birds call it called Easter Eggers. And, you know, it's bluish. It looks white, but it's actually got a blue tint to it. There's, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the bird that lays this Carly Manda bird. And it's, it's literally, you know, it's just a perfect egg. You know, it's really nice. This is what I'm, my typical, you know, Ames Family Farm uh, six pack looks like, you know. The eggs are, are slightly washed. You know, they, 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 if you see them in better light like I can, you'll see like there's almost like a stripe, you know, that goes around them. But they're always going to be a little bit dirty, a little bit off color because I don't scrub them very much. The chicken eggs come out clean because they, they lay them into hay or pie, you know, and the ducks have got these big, nasty, dirty feet and they walk around. So I'm going to rebuild their, uh, where they lay their eggs today. And I'm going to try to, I keep putting hay in there almost every day. But here is, you know, a, a dozen eggs. But I've, I've been getting these. See these eggs right here? They don't even fit in there. I mean, these eggs, I mean, there's, there's some chicken eggs. There's a regular duck egg. And then, look at these guys. Look how fat that one is. There's four eggs. Or five of them, sorry. That one, that one, that one. Now you can kind of see that striation. Those stripes that go through there. That's what they look like. They get these little stripes on them. This in here is just abnormally huge. And the same right here, right here. This one's just fat down at the bottom. I kind of feel bad for the ducks. But it's, it's kind of funny. I mean, it's just a testament. You're feeding the birds well and all this stuff. And your eggs are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So normally they get like one or two of these a week, or you know, every other week. But now just they just keep coming. So what sucks about them is you can't. This isn't going to fit in here. You know, I could press it down in there, but right, it's going to break. And then you can't get another one next to it. You can't put another one next to that. And they start to take up space. So that's my cat playing with dumpster kitty. Having a good time somewhere over there. Anyways, eggs. Just wanted to show off my eggs, and uh, I'll be making scrambled eggs with olive oil, sea salt, red onion, and garlic today. So, you guys take care. I gotta go let the birds out.